so this might sound a little bit different to you guys testing out my new audio in the helmet audio sounds a little hollow right now so I don't know how this is gonna turn out you know when you're speaking in inside a helmet we'll have to see what this sounds like so this is the uh, actual first time I've ever ridden my bike believe it or not and recorded the audio at the same time so this is a little different experience um, definitely something I'm gonna have to get used to because I'm used to like riding my my motor bike okay thank you have a good day people just stop that's that's actually pretty nice of him but had uh, enough room to get two semis through there but yeah this will be a little different I'm really curious to see like what the noise factor is you know like the noise wind noise that's yeah, rush hour right now so a little bit of traffic not too bad so I broke down and I bought the actual GoPro adapter you know the one that's on Amazon for about oh I don't know 50 bucks 47.99 or something so what I'll do is I'll include a link in the bottom of the description under the video which will have the uh, GoPro adapter and I brought I bought a nice case I don't know if you can see it in the mirror right there like an aftermarket case I had the GoPro Hero 6 black and then the case that I bought houses the GoPro and it houses the little adapter now my mic it's just a cheap microphone but you have to have that little adapter as you can see in the mirror it's a TRRS or TSSR that goes into the TRS I don't know it's something like that but you have to buy the little adapter because the microphones themselves because of the adapters don't fit directly into the GoPro little adapter if that makes sense I don't know it's a little goofy but only that stuff doesn't cost very much so I'm just trying to get an idea what the audio sounds like when I'm riding see if you can hear the engine or the motor Uh, of course, there's a car coming. Go ahead, buddy. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, of course, I have a mint in my mouth. I apologize for that. Hopefully, you don't hear me swishing my, my mint around in my mouth. That's probably not a good idea right before I ride. Where are they going now? Home Depot? no okay going straight going right yeah let's go so I want to get up to a little bit higher speed See what the wind sounds like. Test one, two, three. Yeah, see, I'm going 50 miles an hour, and it's a very windy day. It's probably like uh, 12 degree winds. I mean, that's not crazy windy, but when you're riding a bike and then you have the side wind coming in, I could definitely tell it's coming from the south. Now, if I go on this road, so I'll be heading more north. There's people doing. I want to see if I, if I hear. I'm going to actually turn down here a little bit. There you go. And get away from this traffic a little bit. See what this sounds like down here. Yeah, when you're cruising around at like really low speeds, you don't have the wind factor. So I'm going to have to figure this out. Now it sounds very windy when I'm going like 50 miles an hour. And like I said, if you sit here right now, it's hard to tell. 
there's no really flags around here but yeah it's about a 12 mile an hour wind that's going on right now in this area but this helmet that I have is not like one of the best for like soundproof this is a HGAC I've done like a I did a research a little video review video on this helmet that I have so I'm really anxious to see what the the mic is like in the chin area right to the left side of my mouth and <clears throat> I can just imagine um, <laughs> what this is gonna sound like when I'm going like 50 miles an hour oh, I might be surprised you know the, the the actual software that I use to edit my video the audio portion audacity it's called is pretty good actually but I'm not sure if they have like an actual um, there's probably a way to reduce the wind I'm sure so I'll research that a little bit but yeah yeah first time riding with my audio in the mic pretty interesting I'm trying to be a little quiet here so can pick up what this wind is doing on the audio but I, I found a secret not really a secret but when I ride to really keep your chest your core warm all you have to do is wear like a, a vest so I got this I got this vest on underneath you know just this jacket which is a pretty light jacket but I got I got a vest underneath it and I tell you what, I tell you what, just uh, wearing that vest underneath this, I am not, I don't feel anything on my chest, my core area as far as uh, cool. My arms and my legs and my hands, that's the only where, that's really the only place that I feel the cold because I think the temperature right now it's only like 60 degrees looks warmer than it is but it, it's pretty chilly out still 60 you know when you're going on a motorbike is uh, not very warm but it is what it is it's just trying to warm up here in Ohio I mean what is it I don't even know what day it is April 4th yeah my birthday was yesterday happy birthday to me um, but yeah it was I don't want any more trust me but it is April 4th 2020 and it is 60 degrees not too shabby but I tell you what I prefer like I said when I, I made this comment before I prefer 75 or higher when I ride my bike it just makes more sense I don't like being cold so I'm just going around the neighborhoods here I certainly hope that I pressed my record right and my audio my audio input on the GoPro once you plug it in is set to standard mic I don't know if you anyone knows what I'm talking about but it's called a standard mic and then there I don't know if people can talk hear me talking to myself and my, my helmet or not like what's this guy talking to himself but uh yeah i got the standard mic on there's a standard mic plus but what that does is it just increases the audio gain i believe so i tried that in the house and man you could hear like every little breath i took so it was a little overkill so i'm just trying to see what this one sounds like So yeah, I wanted to thank everybody for checking out my channel. I got some really cool things planned for the summer if I can get out and do them. I want to take uh, some rides to the, I want to go down to the city of Cincinnati, the actual city. Um, you've seen Hamilton, but I've not, I've not ridden my bike all the way down to the city. Um, that's just a little, um, little farther as far as usually what I want to go, but uh, it's just it's not too bad if I take the back roads I got to go all the way down the back way 
and it shouldn't be too bad but I like to ride around the city do a little tour around the city of Cincinnati that would be kind of interesting so yeah this is the golf course that I always ride up to you guys are probably getting tired of seeing this but like I said this is just a test video this is really the only reason I'm doing this tonight is I want, I'm curious to see how the audio, audio is going to sound that's all Ugh. Never one, never much was a golfer. Not a golfer. Not a fan. Not a fan. I guess it's all right. Probably would be a little more enjoyable now that I'm older. But my idea of golfing is getting one of those golf carts back there and just drinking some beer and having fun. And I could see that. That's probably pretty cool. But I don't like walking a golf course. If I want exercise, I'll go to a gym. anyway hope you're enjoying the channel like I said I try to get out and, and ride as much as I can this will this will be a little little bit more a motivating factor to have the audio inside the helmet because I think that'll it'll be a lot more enjoyable to go out and ride and actually record my audio as I'm riding the motorbike instead of doing it after the fact which is a little different yeah, the sound quality is amazing when you do it separate, but of course, it's just a different feeling. It's not the same experience, in other words. Oh. So being able to talk and narrate as I actually ride is... is is really cool I think it's it's different I got to get used to it like I said I'm not used to doing this so I might go periods without even uh, forgetting the talk or something like before I got in a little zone like just zoning out but it's not bad curious curious to see what the engine sounds like over and above the wind
Yeah, not really cold at all though. This vest really does come in handy. So keep the comments coming. I really enjoy doing the, uh, getting into the comments under the videos and kind of answering any questions or rapping back and forth with you guys about this or that. And, you know, I, ha I do have the, uh, I have the Facebook and I have a Twitter account, but you know, I don't even use them. I mean, I, ha I have them a link under the video, but you know what I'm finding is, I don't know, people prefer one or the other and I see all these people that have Twitter accounts and Facebook accounts and they, they, you go on their websites. I'm talking about other YouTube content creators, especially like Twitter. I don't, I don't understand that platform. I mean, they, they keep saying that Twitter's going to be the next up, the up and coming thing and it's going to be very popular and, but I don't know. I just, I don't see it. Not for my channel because I'll go, I, I just don't have a following. I don't have anybody on my Twitter account. And I, it's hard enough to get this YouTube channel to grow, let alone even considering, thinking about considering any other thing. Now I do have some followers on the Facebook. Uh, it's like a Facebook fan page, I guess you would call it for my channel. So not very many, probably like maybe a dozen. So I appreciate that, but again, it's kind of redundant, you know? I've posted things on Facebook, and I just don't have the followers, so I think what I'm gonna do, I'll just keep them in the background. It's not a big deal if I have them back there. But I just don't use them. Honestly, I don't even bother. Like I said, it's just one of those things where it's kind of pointless right now since I don't have the following. You know, I only have like 600 something subscribers on this channel, so. Um, it's growing, but it sure is taking its time. But I also have to remember, I have to remember that um, I only have like 40 something videos, 43 videos I think I counted. And that's nothing. Because when I'm looking at the, the really popular channels that's been around for a while, you know, they're, um, they have thousands, thousands of videos. So I can't expect like a 43 channel or a 43 video channel um, to grow leaps and bounds right away. It's, I've had this channel for almost two years and I am still, still trying to figure out how in the world I'm going to make it grow because, you know, I, I guess it's everybody's dream on YouTube, especially have a, a regular channel that you would want to do this for a living one day and actually get paid to do something fun you know and, and that would be amazing if I could do that but the thing is you need to start forking out money and, and putting it into your gear and and spending the time for your content and you know money's not everything but but you you know you do have to have some money into this it'd be nice to have two cameras you know one mounted on my handlebars facing me um, but I only have the one cam, for instance. So I'm, this this will be a, a really good a really good thing if this audio is is keepable. In other words, usable, keepable. <laughs> well, anyway, guys, that's all I have right now. I just wanted to take a quick ride around the neighborhood again, just to see what my audio sounds like. So thank you for um, thank you for being here, and make sure you subscribe and do all that other good stuff. Ooh, ooh. And if I don't run into the house, I'll be okay.